We hope you guys are having a splendid St. Patrick's Day. Today we have six marbles hoping to get their luck in today's marble race. As always, Alex B is here and is doing the play-by-play -play for today's marble race. And also we have a quick overview of our track before we get the marbles down. And now all six marbles are ready to go. The countdown's now on. And there we go, the gate is released and all six are battling down in phone number one. There they go, round and round that first stretch. Looks like Lucky Lime has the slight edge, but no! Pot of Gold makes that quick maneuver, but his fame is short-lived. Four marbles are already in foul number two, and it looks like now Four Leaf Swirl has the slight edge. But now Lucky Lime and Pot of Gold are battling neck and neck. Who's gonna be? It's Pot of Gold! He's still able to keep his lead with Lucky Lime right on his tail. Both of them now making it down foul number three. Now we got Leprechaun and Four Leaf Swirl coming down. And both of them making a nice hit there on Lucky Lime, and now all three of them are battling, while Pato Gold gets a good advantage into fall number four. Now we got Four Leaf Swirl and Leprechaun joining him down. Ooh, and they both seem to be applying pressure on Pato Gold. Now we got Lucky Lime. All three of them seem to have collaborated together to prevent Pato Gold from entering. And thanks to that, Four Leaf Swirl is able to take the lead, followed by Leprechaun. And Pato Gold drops down to third. Leprechaun now looking to have a good lead here. And unfortunately here it looks like Irish Waves was stuck up on last for the majority of this race. And what's this? Four Leaf Swirl takes the lead from Leprechaun and makes it into the final stretch. And man, Lucky Lime making that hard hit on Four Leaf Swirl. All three marbles are now battling. Oh, a fourth one now. It's too close to tell who has the lead here. All of them now skimming the edge. Who's it going to be? It's Lucky Lime making it down that green path and placing first, followed closely by Four Leaf Swirl. And Leprechaun further coming down at third. Unlike the top three, our bottom three competitors are currently spread out. And Pato Gold is able to finish clean fourth. But let's see, can Irish Waves prevent last place in this race? Both him and Shamrock didn't really get much attention in this race. But all eyes are on them now and Shamrock has it. Going down that green path and placing fifth, and that leaves Irish Waves placing in dead last. And there he goes, Irish Waves being the last one to cross the finish line. More marbles means more highlights. There was definitely no shortage of them in this race. Our first highlight was at the beginning when Pato Gold was able to steal the lead from Lucky Lime. Further down, it seemed like both Leprechaun and Four Leaf Swirl teamed up on Lucky Lime. It was off-putting, but he was still able to take the lead. And as always, we had a really close finish in that final stretch between three marbles. And despite all the pressure Lucky Lime got, he was still able to beat them all and take first place. And there you have it, guys. We have Lucky Lime in first, Four Leaf Swirl in second, and Leprechaun in third. And according to the officials, the top three want to duke it out on their own. And it looks like we're going to have enough time for one more marble race. Featuring Lucky Lime, Four Leaf Swirl, and Leprechaun. Let's get them on the track and see which one is the best. And there we go, they're on the gate. The countdown's on and they're off. All of them making it down that first funnel. Leprechaun making a great hit there on Lucky Lime to start the race. Round and around, all just skimming the edge. Who's gonna make it in first? It's Lucky Lime once again, followed by Leprechaun. Making a nice hit there. Ooh, Four Leaf Swirl also coming in at both marbles. And it looks like now Four Leaf Swirl's the answer card. Wait, no, it's Lucky Lime now. Oh, it's Four Leaf Swirl again. And Lucky Lime just comes out at the end. But Four Leaf Swirl's just right on his tail. Still a really tight race here. And what's this? It looks like Leprechaun has stalled for the back. This seemed to have turned into a marble duel. And Lucky Lime now making it down the ramp, followed closely by Four Leaf Swirl. Yes, this has become a marble duel between Four Leaf Swirl and Lucky Lime. Unfortunately, Leprechaun's not able to get a hit there. Four Leaf Swirl now skimming the edge, and he takes into the funnel. And what's this? Leprechaun cut off Lime there, and it's now a neck and neck between the two. Ooh, who's going to make it in first? No way! Despite falling behind, Leprechaun is back in the race, and Lucky Lime is now holding on to last. Four Leaf Swirl, though, still having a good lead. Right on the edge now with pressure against Leprechaun, but he's still able to make that jump and into the final stretch. 
All eyes are still on top though as Leprechaun has a slight lead and he makes it down to the final stretch making a nice hit on four leaf swirl and now both of them are battling neck and neck. Ooh, the tables have turned here. Leprechaun, no, it's four leaf swirl. Who's it gonna be? Leprechaun now having the lead, skimmy the edge and Leprechaun takes it. Man, folks, at the first half, he fell way back, but he's able to come back and beat out both of his competitors. How unfortunate for Lucky Lime, though. Despite doing well for the first race, Leprechaun made him lose faith, and he ultimately ended up last. Once again, thank you to all our fans for coming out on this beautiful St. Patrick's Day for some epic marble racing. Follow our social media down below for more MH racing, and if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a future race. And as always, I'm your host, signing off.